An Arizona solar company that had several customers reach out to the News 4 Tucson investigators about being stuck paying for solar panels they say don't work is now facing allegations from, from, so, from some former, former employees. Of course, Nylander has more on what they had to say in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. We've spent six months looking into customer concerns into Jet Solar, a Tempe-based solar company doing business across southern Arizona. Now several former employees tell us the company's owner owes them thousands and claim they have altered customer contracts. Nobody gets a hold of you. Customer after customer told us how they have been left paying their electric bills and financing for solar panels that don't work after hiring Jet Solar and its owner, Laryl Jones. I can't afford to pay a solar for solar panels that don't work and APS. I, that's uh, the whole point was to eliminate APS and have a cheaper bill, not pay double. I'm beyond frustration with these people. All these people with this same story, come on now, like nobody's making that up. They believed in us and they trusted us, but then what happened to them is they ended up getting messed over by upper management, Laurel. David Puente says he's a former employee who recently left Jet Solar after four months because of several issues he witnessed. I'm no longer employed because. One, he doesn't pay you, and two, he's not actually putting the solar where it's working on the roofs for these people. David says Jones owes him money for about 20 jobs he worked on, around $30,000, he estimates. I got most of my front ends, but I didn't get my back ends. He never paid me my money either. James McCormick says he got paid a salary, but he is owed money for commission on some of the finished projects he brought to the company. He and his wife, Leah, both worked for Jet Solar. James says he was a sales manager and Leah, a customer care manager, taking many of the upset customers' phone calls. I was the form of communication between the customer and the process of where they were at with their solar. They provided us a spreadsheet with the names of 40 customers in Tucson. They claim the vast majority still are waiting for solar. Some of the names on the list are the customers we have spoken to ourselves. James says he left because of what he saw. There were discrepancies on their purchase agreements that I pointed out and they would just go behind uh, homeowners backs and just change what was in their contracts. That's what Rosenhelica Cruz Noterer says happened to her. She was stuck paying her solar loan waiting for eight months with no panels when she decided to cancel. She says Jet Solar sent her an invoice demanding $8,200, then sent her a copy of her contract showing terms of cancellation being more than $5,000 and various fees. Only issue, that wasn't the contract she says she signed. My contract didn't say anything about a cancellation fee. This is the original contract she says she signed, which has her signature and initials throughout the document. She hired a lawyer and soon after the loan company canceled her loan after not being able to contact Jet Solar. After dealing with them, finally able to close everything out and <laughs> wash my hands of them. We asked Jones about her allegations and the allegations from his former employees. He denied everything, calling it false and said, quote, all employees that have and currently work for me have NDAs and in those NDAs expresses that they are not to damage my company or give out customers information to outside sources. As far as unfinished projects, he says, quote, these customers have solar installed and projects have been worked on. If there are customers that projects have taken longer, this is due to not having power kills approved by the utility or a shortage in main panels. Customers have received checks to offset their payments. There are a multitude of solar companies and construction companies that have projects that have been delayed because of these challenges. According to the Arizona Register of Contractors, there are two open complaints against the company's license. Investigating for you, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.